normally my forehead my t-zone my special my nose area right here i get so oily but this one is not giving me that holy smoky wow hey somebody put on the music i want to dance i want to dance ah hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i hope you're all keeping well so in this one i'm going to share with you guys um a foundation which i'm going to be reviewing for you guys today and this one is the Maybelline fit me foundation which looks like this so i picked the shade uh, 355 and i will be trying this for you guys today and just to see on how well it performs on my oily skin so i'm quite you know excited to try this and it said it's supposed to give you a matte finish which i'm like you are that's me so yeah i'm quite i'm really really excited so i'm just gonna read to you guys what this foundation actually is supposed to do so let's have a look all right so it says uh this lightweight foundation mattifies and refines pores and leaves a natural seamless finish and also it's suitable for um you know for normal to oily skin which of course oily skin is my everyday life so yeah i'm quite excited to try this foundation like i said and just you know to see how good it is and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and just start uh, do that right now i just tied my hair so that it's out of the way so let's get started so to begin i'm gonna go ahead and of course prime my face and the primer i'm using today is by the body shop which looks like this is their all-in-one insta blur of course i've been using this primer a lot and i really did like it it helps you know control the oil so it's it's really good so let's use this one today and i just like to rub it like that and you just i need, I need a mirror girl And normally I like to really put more on the on the area that I know I normally get oily, especially like my teeth on and of course around my nose. Alright, so now we have the uh, primer on and I'm going to go ahead and of course start applying the foundation and I'm just going to use my uh, Super Beauty Sponge from Essence, which I quite, I mean first time I'm using this one, so it looks quite cute, I like the shape. <laughs> Alright. Hold on, I think I'm supposed to shake this. I think that's just... Alright. a little bit runny but let's put it on the face so on my face it looks slightly lighter but I think once I blend everything together it should be all right just putting little dots everywhere Okay, let's start with this much and just blend it and of course if we need to put more I can always do that and just build it up. So let's do that. So far the color doesn't look too crazy. I think it, it seems like it's actually matches, you know, matches my skin. It's not too bad actually I think I may have picked the right shade <laughs> wow this looks nice 
and I just like how well it blends, you know. So this is how it's looking like with just one layer and of course I put just a little bit right here. But from, from what I'm looking at, the color looks really nice. It looks nice. But I think I'll put another layer on top so it sort of, you know, covers my spots because I can still see, you know, like, I can still see some things going on there. So let's put another layer. And I just like to drag it along my neckline so everything seems to be you know to be well blended together so guys this is how the face is looking like after of course second layer of foundation and I have to say that it looks quite nice actually. I like the color payoff. It doesn't look too crazy. And it's also kind of blended really well. When I was blending it, I didn't have any issues or anything like that. So I really, really like this foundation a lot actually. And it said it is um, a matte finish to be honest because I have tried quite a few foundations and I know how my skin reacts and you know, just how my face looks like after applying a foundation on. So I have to say this is definitely speaking for myself i have to say it definitely looks like a matte finish in my case and of course i speak for myself everybody is different so just bear that in mind but yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish uh the rest of my makeup of course and um i'll come back to you guys and we'll go from there all right guys so i am back and i've just finished doing my whole entire face it's looking pretty good if i say so myself of course i love the finished look uh, if you guys are wondering what's on my lips i am wearing um mac plumful which looks like this it's a very very beautiful color i really love this color As you guys can see it's almost empty i love this color so so much so yeah Anyway, back to the foundation. I have to say that so far it's looking good. Uh, there's no signs of, you know, oiliness or anything like that. And my laugh line still looks good. There's no creasing going on there. So that's a good start. And of course, it's it's super matte, you guys. It's really, really matte. Um, you know, I'm talking from experience. You know, I know how my face looks like when it's oily <laughs> after applying foundation and setting the whole entire face and how this one is looking like right now. I can definitely tell the difference so so far you know it's looking nice i'm quite happy and i'm hoping it's gonna stay like this that would be awesome you know because you know for a girl who's got oily skin if this stays like this it, this is like a dream come true so i'm really really super excited anyway i'm gonna go out right now you guys just spend a day outside and i'll be back later on in the evening to give you my final thoughts and review on you know what's been happening during the day on this foundation so far the time is you guys know how the drill goes the time is 5 56 in the p.m of course so yeah i'll be back later on and i'll see you guys later so guys i'm back with a final update on the uh Maybelline fit me foundation and i have to say that you guys you guys i think i think i think we have we have we have a winner right here i think we found something oh my goodness this is so exciting uh you guys look at my face look at my face how it looks like oh my gosh it looks so so mad you guys oh my goodness this looks nice uh i think this is a winner right here i'll zoom you in so you guys can see can you see how this how mad oh my gosh i have no oily on my nose wow look at that it's all mad and i did not touch up by the way uh, just in case you were wondering, I did not touch up. Whoa, this looks nice, you guys. Oh my goodness, this is, this is good. This is good. The only thing, of course, I can see is if you look at my eyebrows, what do you see? Of course, they are, they are shiny. We have shininess there. My eyebrow, that's the only thing. Normally, my forehead, my T-zone, my, especially my nose area right here, I get so oily. But this one is not giving me that. Holy smoky wow hey. somebody put on the music i want to dance i want to dance ah. let me come down Whew. this this is good news guys this is good news 
because normally with foundation you guys i always always struggle to find a foundation that can last me even a couple hours without making my whole entire face greasy and oily and just uh i all it's the struggle is always real you guys um but when you find something that actually works man you better stick to that so this bad boy here it's definitely going into my collection i'll be reaching for this foundation again and again and again and again um i'm just like yes that's mine that's mine i hope you guys enjoyed this foundation review and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so already as always thank you so so much for watching my videos take care and i will see you guys on my next video bye for now